Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to wear my sari wrap skirt when it's cold outside. Here we go. So I live in the Northeast and it's always, it's always freaking cold. So you're always bundling up. And when I pick out my outfits, I'm gonna show you some of the tips that I use. So first off, I'm wearing my favorite sari wrap skirt from Darn Good Yarn and it has two layers to it it's 100 percent eco-friendly and it's adjustable so if i'm having my period or i'm feeling a little bloated that day it fits no matter what my body is going through which is absolutely awesome <laughs> and then um what i do and this is a trick so over the holidays i gained a little bit of weight not a big deal it happens to the best of us but i couple my shirt to show a little bit more skin on top then because i usually i will hike my skirt up to where my natural waist is. So I'm 40 years old. I'm like 165 pounds and I'm 5'6", just so you know. So this skirt is um, our regular ankle length. So just so you have an idea. So if you're a little bit shorter, I would say if you're under five foot four, you want to get a T length or a mini, and that'll be good for this look too. So I hike it up probably like an inch or two under where my boobs end. And then, um, so that gives me like an actual really nice waist and it hides any kind of lumpy bumpies going on underneath the scenes. And I'll show you what I do there to help cover some of that. And then I wear a scoop neck shirt. And I do this because I have a slightly larger chest, but then it all, it helps like even that out. Um, if I go too high up, it, it's like, it's almost like the skirt and the top are fighting each other. So I try to just show off a little more skin. It's feminine, it's soft. And I used to not really like care about that but my neckline especially as I've gotten older has become really important to me and I even find v-neck sometimes at least for my body shape because like it's it has gained weight this creates a softness to it and an overall flow to the look so um I make sure that my bra doesn't have like too many wrinkly parts in it so I have this is just a really simple like ten dollar shirt I picked up at a thrift store it's a nice light pink you could go darker if you want but because this is a day look for me um and I'm going with a darker lip this to me is an even out. I don't try to go like all one color and go monochromatic. The other thing I did in terms of accessories is I have a longer pendant necklace on that goes, and you can see it falls almost just above my waistline here. And what that does is that draws the eye in because if you go too high, it's going to create a line and it's going to make you look wider. So I like to have like a nice drape. You can get like a mala necklace or you can get a pendant necklace and you can swap it out. So that's cute. And this is just a little stone I picked up at a local little store. And then I have some nice big earrings. I personally love earrings a lot. Like they just kind of pull an outfit together and I'm going for, you know, I go for my artistic vibe because, you know, I own Darn Good Yarns. So that's what I'm supposed to do. Um, and then a quick note on hair and then I'll get into the layers underneath. So uh, my hair, I straightened it for today. I have quite a bit of hair in the back though. So if I take it out real quick, you can see it's just too much going on when you have a lot of layers like this looks i mean like i like my hair down but if i'm just like walking and i'm shopping or whatever i'm, I'm going on a date i'm gonna bring some of those layers back because it's just then makes everything look too heavy in the front and you can see here like it's almost look it almost looks like i gained a couple of pounds just from this so i have a cute little um you know me and my stone so i have a cute little barrette that i have here so let me just show you I just pull I pull just a little bit of my hair back, clip it, and then you're good to go. So now you just are controlling, you know, a quarter of your hair and that's staying back away from your face. You can still have some pieces in the front that frame it to give you that slenderness. And then let's go into the layers here. So we're on that today. Um, it's, it's sunny out, but it's still cold. It's like 25 degrees. Um, I just have a wool sweater, but you can do any kind of, um, you can do any sweater that just, what I like is it falls underneath my butt. I mean, some of you might like to do crop, but for me, that makes me look heavier. So I like to just create the line and I'm just, again, trying to draw everything in. This particular one has pockets as well. So this is a, um, this is a staple in my closet that I wear all of the time. The only thing with this is that you can see it's cabled. So with the cable, I just want to make sure that my top is not really crazy. And, um, even with the skirt, this is actually one of my more plain skirts. If I really wanted to, I could just flip it to the underside as well, which is the blue. And that's really stunning as well, um, just to give it that contrast. Then um, in terms of how I tie it, so I get this question a lot, like where should I put the opening? Because there's a lot going on in the front and I have a nice cozy, it has a, a nice thick um, collar to it, the sweater. 
I actually have the, um, where, where the uh, wrap skirt goes around, I have that towards the back just to keep some of that weight on the back and keep a nice slender line this way. Um, so that's how I tie that there. And then I just keep the tie off to the side. Again, if you put it here, that's going to be a weird line. So what you're trying to do is just draw everything right into your waist. Um, and then for here's, here's like the secret stuff underneath. <laughs> so, um, I have my yoga pants and I love my yoga pants even more than like cotton leggings are good, but yoga pants for me, ever since having my daughter, they just provide like the support in my abdomen. Um, cause it never really bounced back. <laughs> you know, I'm sure you probably, some of you might understand that too. So what I did, I'll show you, I just have my yoga pants on and I love the way they feel. They have a little bit of compression for me, which is great. Um, and then I also have, you can see I have my tall boots on and this just keeps me extra cozy and you know, it's probably TMI, but here we are. It also allows if you want, <laughs> you don't have to shave your legs as often because you're just totally covered, which is nice. Um, because I know that sometimes, you know, in the summer you're like, oh, where's my skirt going to fall? And I'm a mom and I'm, I'm really busy. So I'm like, let me just shave up to like <laughs> the minimum viable product. So when you wear your tall boots here, you kind of save a, uh, save a step there. But um, yeah, this is the outfit. I like this a lot. It has, you know, it flows. Um, if you wind up getting static, some of the skirts can be staticky, try a little static spray. You can also take one of your dryer sheets and just rub it on the outside and it'll take care of the static too, especially if you tend to be in really hot and dry environments, like if you're in the heat all day or in an office and working on carpet. So just the, sat the um, static cling sprays out there are really great and they don't harm these at all. Um, and then if you know, go out for drinks later, you can just pop this baby off, reverse it, and then you're good to go. So if you like this video, please let me know. I'll do more of them and, um, leave your questions in the comments and we'll talk to you later. Bye.